All right, let's play this in full. Oh. Ah, cool. All right. I got a couple of thoughts. Ooh, I like this, by the way. This is uh, very helpful. To see lines, we understand what the camera is doing. Speaking of camera, I would probably not go so far with your the rotations and the up and down. Just doing this section, it's a bit kind of minimizes or counters what's going on in that action uh, through here, especially here on that settle as it comes back. It's a bit. I don't want to say confusing, but it's just a bit, I don't know, it's, I don't think it works just yet. Um, but we can definitely do a pass on a camera later for some handheld. My thoughts when I was watching this. I do like this. I do like that we have, I think, I think you can tilt down more and you can, you might have to potentially uh, move away towards us with the camera so that basically your shot is like, this right so you imagine you got your my horribly drawn thirds are those thirds they're not really <laughs> thirds <laughs> they're more like turds anyway um i will tilt down so that we have um uh, the dino a bit more in this area because you're just a bit low and in that way what i like about this is that we see this and it's and we understand it's a leg but that way you have a focus again it will be higher we understand, okay, this is what's going on here. And then as this character overtakes the camera, it's cool because now we understand, okay, this is what's about to happen, this confrontation. I think that's a cool start. I would just reframe and tilt down and then you can always, you know, end up here. If that makes sense. Imagine this is your horizon line here, but imagine your horizon line is also here at the beginning, right? So you're here and here. That's cool. I will probably... We'll probably go a bit bigger and uh it doesn't seem like to be any anticipation there not that it has to be super cartoony but something where it's kind of starts going up and kind of from more like a side bite there now this guy is pretty big i'm not saying that you should make the steps faster this the thing that strikes me here is that looking at his arms especially especially through here he seems, or it seems, very casual. It's like, whoa, something's coming here. Whoop, gotta swing over. And I think it could be slightly bit more dramatic. And it's also in, in its arm swings. And I know it's not that fast, but, you know, if you imagine. And you can't see it. I mean, it will bring the arms off screen. But even on something like this, where... I mean, you might even go a bit higher. That's tricky, though, because it's just... I'm just looking for a bigger swing... Not that you have to do kind of a fake out of stepping here and then over here. It's not that. I think they'll get too confusing and it's too close to camera. But something action-wise so that you're not so casual in this. And I mean, if you if you tilt down and maybe you go a bit further away, and maybe, maybe you can make that just a bit faster. It's up to you and it's a lot of work, you know, changing that stuff, but... That's just my impression. When I saw this, it felt a bit, eh, it could be just a bit more powerful. That's all cool, though. Once you're here, one thing I would do is, since there's a lot of full momentum on this dinosaur here, and then, home, and then that's it, right? You got that bite, home, and then it takes one step, and then that's kind of it. And it kind of little tiny steps for adjustment, and it doesn't feel like I've been running towards this thing and I want to bite, and even this, home. You can almost go a bit lower to cut a bit, a bit of a, a curve. Not that you want to cover this too much, but again, at this point, it will be here. Like that guy passes the dinosaur fast enough. So I will give this a bit more of a like down side bite where even the, the head could be a bit more tilted and then it would be lower. But to me, then it would be like taking a big step over this way. Because imagine you're running and then you're stopping. You know, there's enough full momentum in this creature going through that in this, for this step here, could be even here. 
and then we turn around and then you can always cheat some steps if you want but now it's kind of my impression there you want to make that a bit more dynamic on that on that run and 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 fake out and that fight going over once you go back here and again i feel like we're very tight there's stuff where we're cutting off ankles and wrists are everything feels a bit too close i wish it was and i know you have that surprise moment you're just gonna have to make that dinosaur just a bit faster but to me it feels like if you're on something like this I don't know, it feels like even this would be better. So, you know, imagine that I'm going to draw outside of my my uh, M player here. Keep Keyframe keep player pro here. Uh, I would just bring this much, this much further out. So let me just go uh, back here and let's kill this. Just have a bit more room. And this feels, oh, like I don't see the contact it's like a tiny bit here and then and then the what so to me it feels like you want to go and even this I, i'll try to find a way to get that elbow in a bit more it's basically if you have if you have more room like to me it would be you got the body here the dinosaur head would be almost here so that you have this arm going down with potentially like a flaring out finger pose and then this hand higher up here you know that i mean you again you'd be further out so you can see the whole thing but it's a bit more of a, a, a nicer silhouette on this guy and then ah and on this to me that fist would stick and i know it's a punch but i would still go boom, like a massive thing where even the head of the dinosaur might even crack almost a bit and that fist is here just kind of push that impact and bah! Because right now I don't even feel the impact on on the oh the not the impact but I don't feel the connection. This seems extremely minimal. <clears throat> it's neat on the dinosaur. And look at him or it or she. <clears throat> and it's almost to me it would be ah and that would be going more this way, and then open mouth close and then some you know some actions in the claw kind of uh, readjusting and then making that a bit slower here it's a very very clean eye goes whoop oh i gotta eat more so don't forget that during all of this time you can still take steps left and right just for some more organic movements it's not so clean i'm just shaking my body and it's good that you, you actually take a step here but you can continue so it doesn't have that clean doot and move and i know you're saying you're working on twos and fours and it's linear and you're splitting later it's just that's a note for for the future there now for the guy after he punches bah! after all this i feel like all oh, right i'm gonna wait here oh wait i got bitten so i got you know munched on and bit by this other creature that i didn't know about so to me a couple of things after this boom it could almost be i can imagine something like this I'm thinking about this clip here. Uh, let's fight here. He does this. Ready and that. Oh, so good. So you got your, your you know, he's pumping up. He's getting ready to fight. And to me, not that you want to copy this, but to me, it feels like, boom. And then it's just, you know, maybe arms out or, you know, a punch or like, or, or you know, maybe, I mean, you said that you're not good at rigging and stuff, but I mean, it's not like you have to do something big. It could just be a simple geometry thing for, for a blade to come out or just something i would just have him punch and then get ready like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna kill you at this point you're done and this seems again very casual and it's almost very presentational where like oh i'm i'm really presenting this to, to this guy here so i would just think about that like the, the energy just kind of dies after this but then this guy comes in and again i would give this a bit more than just one shuffle here after all of this, it'd be a bigger, bigger look. It would almost pivot off of here. And imagine it pivots here this way. So this foot takes a step back there. So then he is almost profile just for a bit. And I know you're going into this, which is cool. But again, and it doesn't have to be much, but it just feels like you're waiting. It gets bit and then that's kind of it. Maybe once you spline it and you have more busy business, it could be okay. So that whole pivot here, maybe disregard that note since we are so close to doing this but again it feels just casual where it's like huh i guess i'm gonna turn around 
just as long as you are biting and he tries to pull away, struggle, I will have a very clear look up here. Because you're looking up and then he turns already. So to me, it feels like, ah, oh, what's going on here? And then, oh man, and now this guy is charging at me. I think you need to have enough time to show bite, getting ready, realizes, holy crap, I got two of them now. What could I do? Oh, I can do this. And even that turnaround feels very slow. But that's an idea. Again, I still like it. Now, this guy now seems like a kid, like a temper tantrum. Like, eh, I want my cookies. I want my cookies with those steps. Um, now, I'm going to admit that I'm old and I can't remember anything, but... I should remember, but I'm going to be honest here. I don't remember what I said about this. Because what strikes me here is that it's just so casual and this goes away. And why would he not continue to fight? And I know he comes in at the end. But I thought, didn't I talk about something? Was, was that the blade idea? Again, I'm, I should know. And this is horrible to admit here. But there needs to be something that incapacitates him. And I thought, or it, or she, uh, that might have been the blade thing of... And again, you would have such a cool silhouette here that when this happens... On that turn, it might be a slash to that oh, fall sideways. I think that was the idea or something close so that we know it's dead. And again, it could be super simple. You just you just have to have a, you know, triangle type of thing that just kind of scales out. It, it's just it's just an idea and you make it the same color as this and then that's it. It, ha it really doesn't have to be fancy. It, ca it can just kind of pop, you know, kind of a little like another thing that kind of rotates up here that opens up uh, uh, you know something that in that in that wrist and this can just come out again i can't remember what the specific idea was but this is what i'm thinking about it now that when you have this it will be such a cool moment again silhouette wise to slash this so it falls in uh, falls on the ground here you continue with this it's cool that it's low here but it might just fall over at this point all that weight i don't know if you need to have the little tiny arms for for this but it might even it might even fall down and the head is on the ground and then you can it, it tries to get up and you can do this now this is cool right this is a clean silhouette even though i would still find a way to get to this a bit sooner i mean or i know i don't know if this was the idea for the blade out and then the cut through here What is he doing here? Because he does a punch. Again, this seems like a bit of a very a soft punch. You can also rip off Skull Island and bring that arm in here and it rips out the tongue or something. Um, a couple of things you can do. I mean, look, to me it seems like, and I, I, I think I remember why I said all this is because of repetition. Um, if I could just magically do something, because the other th th thing to me too is that once you're done with this, you're introducing a new idea that has no conclusion. It's right at the end, and it's just a bit too short. Like, wait, what, what? And then imagine there's a new shot that continues. I think, I'm not sure if that's needed. And again, I apologize for not remembering what I said before. Because at this point, this this guy would, would just walk a lot faster. It would be much more intense. It might come in sooner, but I don't know. I'm not super smitten by it just because it's with the composition and the amount of time that we have. It's so short. And again, it's maybe because we are so cutting things off. And again, if you were overall further away and we would have a bit more breathing room to introduce this, it could work. Again, going back to the magic wand thing. I mean, you could do something laid out on this, cut the thing off. He falls or it or she, I keep saying it, falls off to the ground. Then this happens and it could be not that you want a different blade, but it could be, it could be another tool. Um... It could also be you have this and then it grabs this this section, right? And then you pull this way, which then, you know, breaks the jaw. Here is the other side here. And then, or, you know, or you do this or and you put the, the other hand here. And then you do a twist and you just twist the neck and break the neck for it to fall. To me, there would be, given that you have a punch here, I'm not sure I would, that I would do a, another punch. Um... So I think something a bit more original. Or, or 
you do the whole thing is a bit more active and you do the fake outs and this might have been my idea just because of the silhouette that now the blade comes out and you cut through ba -ba, for this but then you got to go further back with the camera again overall you want to be further back and then you give this a couple more frames to introduce this it also depends on what other shot you have afterwards but again it just seems like we watch this and then oh wait what and then it's gone i just you need another beat to, to sell this um so again apologize for not remembering uh i could also just pause and rewatch my whole critique but you know it better and i don't want to uh make the shot this critique even longer so you might have two different ideas that might be contradicting but it might also be just a list of ideas that you can pick and choose again my concern is the casualness here the contact point needs to be stronger. The impact needs to be stronger. He feels like he's just waiting for this to happen. It feels like this needs to be more energy. More energy on this creature going over. And I wouldn't... This is cool. I love this. But I wouldn't repeat a punch. So anything that you can do to make the end more original. And then another beat at the end time-wise. And I know it's you want it to be as... I'm assuming. As kind of a surprise. Like, whoa! And then this. And then we cut out for something else that's awesome. But I would just give this another beat to feel not so rushed. And overall, camera further out. So you're always a bit more uh, in that in that level where even though we're cutting off the ankle again here, but you just have a bit more headroom and breathing room overall. Can't draw with this tool. I'm going to switch to my other tool to show more stuff here. All right. I hope that makes sense. If not, as always, you can let me know and you can email me. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.